Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm taking a look at some under the radar news about Microsoft Copilot and what it may mean for the future of AI. Let's jump into it. So here I have a story from 9 to 5 Mac about how Copilot Pro will no longer be a standalone subscription. It will be bundled into Microsoft 365. Now currently this only applies to users in Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, and Thailand. But according to the article, Microsoft often rolls out changes like these to smaller markets before pushing them into larger markets like the United States. So it seems that Microsoft is having trouble selling Copilot on its own, which isn't surprising if you've been following some of the thinking lately that AI is more of a feature that is part of other products rather than a product on its own. But I do happen to think that there's possibly another reason for this move. Bundling Copilot into the price of Office 365 makes it easy from an accounting perspective to blur the revenue that's coming from these enormous AI investments that Microsoft and others are making. The executives of Microsoft and many other Silicon Valley companies are under tremendous pressure from Wall Street to show revenue from these multi-billion dollar AI investments. And this is almost the same move that Google did with Gemini just six or so weeks ago. Google bundled Gemini into their workspace productivity product. It seems like Microsoft might be following Google's lead here. Both companies are under tremendous pressure to demonstrate revenue from these AI investments. And I think this is a little bit of sleight of hand to buy some time to find the enormous revenue streams that investors are expecting. Microsoft still doesn't break out AI revenue in its earnings release, but as these investments add up, Microsoft and others are gonna be under pressure to show AI-driven revenue. And if AI is a feature of a product and not a product itself, what does that mean for OpenAI, the leader in the AI space right now? OpenAI is basically a standalone AI company. Do these moves by Google and Microsoft indicate that their business model is not likely to generate the amazing returns that investors expect? And what does it mean for Apple intelligence? Apple apparently wants to charge for Apple intelligence within a couple of years. Will, will Apple be forced to bundle that cost into something else? I'm not sure, but this certainly doesn't bode well for AI generally. I think the question is very much still on the table, and that is where is the AI revenue going to be coming from? I think 2025 is probably the year these companies are going to be forced to answer that question. But what do you think? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.